Pisces. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time. I know how valuable it is. I also appreciate you reaching out and hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. And if you haven't hit that subscription button, thank you for doing that right now. Appreciate all your support. Also appreciate the support with the donations that many of my Pisces friends have sent to me. I appreciate them all, large or small. Pisces, if you blessed me with a donation, thank you. And a big thank you to all my Pisces that have reached out for private readings with me. It's always a blessing to get to know you on a more personal level. Thank you for all that, my friends. Uh, a couple quick announcements. My next Sunday fun day will be October 20th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope you can make it. As you guys are making the Sunday fun day, I love what, what, looking through the chats and seeing you all chatting with each other and enjoying each other's company, supporting each other, all that wonderful stuff. October 20th. And uh, quickly, uh, November 3rd, still going to be having a party in Palm Coast. You're still invited to it. All that information will be down below. RamblinMikesTarotEvents.com, the big blue button. I got a bunch of readers coming in. Food, drinks, all that good stuff right there. What I wanted to say about the event is that if you've ever reached out for a reading with me, if I have read for you or if I was not able to because I've always got way too many requests to keep up with it all. If you've ever reached out, then go ahead and get your ticket for the event and then use that same text however you contacted me so that I know it's you. Tell me, Mike, I'm coming to the show and I got a $25 rebate for you. If I'm at a show, 25 bucks cash for all my peeps that have ever reached out for a reading with me. So, all right. <clears throat> here we go let's play some tarot here this reading will be for pisces sun moon rising venus for the month of october 2019 mid-month as we head into november these readings will be for love and relationships relationships of all kinds home work family lord these have Oh, they want to talk right here. That's five of cups jumped out right there, Pisces, the old river of tears. These readings will be for love and relationships. I myself, I'm going to be focusing on love. Uh, that's because I love to read love cards. We all know there's no possible way this is going to be for every Pisces on the planet. So, hey, if this general reading resonates with you, run with it, have fun with it. If it doesn't have fun, throwing it out the door. All my cross watchers, you know you're welcome here. I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Pisces a lot, this can very well play out from your perspective. Probably will. And Source, it's tarot. They have a way of knowing who's going to be looking at these videos, huh? <clears throat> so let's fire up our intuitions, our psychic abilities, all those giftings that we all have as we play with this fun esoteric world of tarot today. Pisces has been shuffling your cards for a while, right here. Let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, tarot, hey, love team. Pisces is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need, help Pisces see here. What they need out of this reading today, let's take all these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces' highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Pisces. Cutting the deck. Going to be playing with the classic Celtic cross. I'm going to confirm everything by throwing... Out of the witch's tarot, on top of the entire spread, I got some of the romance angels. And of course, my 22 majors from the star man, which I lovingly refer to as my David Bowie deck. Here we go, Pisces, first card out. Got the lover right there, the old knight of cups. You know, that's the one that comes prancing in. Makes your heart go boom da -de boom da -de boom 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 right there. You know, every time they come prancing around, that old waterfall starts crushing down. Go whoosh! Hi, Pisces, here's my cup. 
The only problem with this one right here is it can be a very non-committal energy many times. We got a lot of cards to throw on this spread. Let's see where this goes. Has the star card coming out on top of that. It's a nice card, huh? It's about great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. It is the Aquarius card. It may mean something to you, may not. Definitely shows a golden angelic being with the two cups. You know, the two cups always talk about the love to me, huh? One porn in the water, one porn on the land right there. These two may have been in separation for a while. Definitely some love. Definitely some love right in the middle of this spread right here. May have been uh, separated from each other for a season right here with the old lover coming prancing back in. The star card. Let's see where this goes. Base of the spread is the king of love. Got a whole boatload of love already coming out in this spread from my Pisces. The old king of love, <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. He's sitting in his throne right there, has his hands in the namaste, you know. This person has the potential to be an amazing catch. They have the potential to be quite spiritual, but the old king of love right here, he only has one foot in the ocean of emotion right there. And his throne's definitely up out of the ocean of emotion, you know. That's because this old king of love can love very deeply, probably does with the star card, and a lover in the middle of the spread, but has a tendency not to show you how they really feel about you, he or she. Hmm. Yeah, a major arcana, major life force. The moon card showing up here. That old smoky trail, you know, following somebody or something that's intriguing to you down that old smoky trail right there. That little crab is coming out of that water. He's going to go down that trail right there. Why? Well, you can see the sun shining on the other side. He's going to go see if the sun really is shining. But you know, the old smoky trail right here, we cannot ignore the towers that can be involved on this kind of smoky trail that you can't really see clearly about uh, the, the travel. We definitely got the moon and the star and the lover right there, the non-committal lover and the lover that doesn't show you how deeply they love you on this spread from my Pisces. Three of Wands, crowning the spread for Pisces. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising. Three of Wands, you know what it's called? Your ship's coming in. You can see him right there. Those are his ships. And in my opinion, he's using law of attraction to the best of his ability to get these ships to dock up properly. You know, we definitely don't, there's no way, the ships can't come in sideways and dock up properly. Uh, they need to come in port side on the port. Star, bird, side on the stars. Starboard side, there we go. Needs to set up properly. It is that card of still waiting. You know, his, his back's turned to us right there. But putting all of his heart, soul, and strength into the situation, this is a very strong card uh, with the divine being involved in it. All of your ancestors, grandpa, grandma, who's ever on the other side, higher self, source, angelic hosts, all helping my Pisces to get their ships to dock up properly. They get the smoke off of this trail right here. Because, you know, the star is in the middle of it. You know, wish upon a star. Dream big, all of that. Definitely been some towers here because you know, the star doesn't show up unless you've been through towers. And I got two towers right here on this. Uh, I'm looking at right here with this spread with this lover right here. The one, you know, and he couldn't chase those ships if he wanted to. He has to allow them to come to him properly. Let's see where this is going, Pisces. Three of Swords, 
the old heartbreak, the old heartbreak or soul shaker right here. <clears throat> wow, kind of choked me up when that came out, Pisces. You know what I'm going to do with these? I'm going to shake them out. Are you ready? Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out of Pisces heart. Out. Lord have mercy, you know. Dreaming, wishing upon a star right there. This old non-committal lover. There's deep love here. Deep love with that old king of love. Pisces just using all of their, you know. But it's the lover, and I got the damn three swords right there. It can be forewarned, forearmed, huh? Because the problem with the, with the lover right there is what you can't see with that, and that's that string of broken hearts behind their pony right there. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Could very well be one of those old divine unions with a star card right on top of it, you know? And it's like I tell all my peeps, it don't matter if it's a soulmate, twin, flame, life partner. Uh, we, we can't allow them to come in here and just uh, gut us like a mullet and leave us on the beach. That ain't happening no more. Uh-uh. Going to continue to love on yourself. See things the way that you want them to be. Ain't chasing this person no more from what I can see right there. Here we go. Coming out, yeah, working on yourself right here. The old queen of pinnacles. This is how Pisces would see themselves. This is the catch. This is the catch. The one that's grounded, balanced, stable. She lives in a very magical world. She eats right, takes care of herself. She has a golden pair of spirituality in her hand. You know, she is fun. There's a little pan in this magic world that she lives in. That's because this is wifey. This is mommy right here. You know, this is the catch. Sitting right there by that old king of love. The one that's not showing you how they really feel about you. It's got a big old cup sitting up there on the throne all by itself. Many times these kind of people will drink a little bit heavily, in my opinion, to try and subdue these amazing feelings that they have for their divines. It's that old crazy story right here. A uh, king of swords coming out in this spread. Could have air in their energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, rising, you know. Shows this old king right there with his hands crossed over his heart. Hmm? Not allowing that old heart chakra to open up. Just wants to come in and prance around. You know, the old lover finding love and then finding love and then finding love and then leaving these damn swords behind when he prances on out the door. Mm -hmm. Always, you know, full of communication. They always... The gift of gab right here. Boy, they, they got the old silver tongue, don't they, Pisces? I see it, but we definitely got a red flag right here. If they come and prancing back in here, second half of this month, from what I can see. You know, they're probably supposed to be the one with the damn star card right on the middle of it. Let's see where it goes. We got a lot of cards to come out. You know, how Pisces, you know, hopes or fears, the old Knight of Pentacles. Oh my God, this journey's gone on for a while with this Pisces, you know. But Pisces would like to take this all the way to the finish line. That's the old heartbreaking of it, ain't it? That's the old heartbreak of this story right there. One in that solid commitment, working on yourself, but, you know. And dealing with somebody that's, man, non-committal. Feeling that they're the one. Using law of attraction to the best of your ability. Working on yourself on, on a very long journey. And wanting a solid commitment from them. But all we're getting is the achy, breaky heart from them. The old nine of wands crowning the spread. The wounded warrior. And he's staring straight at three of wands right here as a crown in the spread. The old wounded warrior, been through the battle, expecting more of the same to come. Got his, got his wands, uh, the, the wall up right there. But, you know, those are wands of passion. They're really not much of a wall. You know, what don't kill you makes you stronger kind of energy right here, Pisces. Does have that one wand of passion in his hand because he's always about, well, one last push. 
Let's see if we can manifest this this time. I just don't like that three of swords right there. You know. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The hermit is on the bottom of the deck. Oh, it's the hermit. I got four cards right here. Whoa, it just keeps on going right here. The hermit, a major arcana, major life force card. It is our second major, third major. This is Virgo. I got Aquarius and this is Pisces. Cancer with the moon. You know, this is going inside and doing the inner work. Healing your heart, healing your mind. Waiting for astrological alignments to line up. Being led and guided by the divine. I do have a world card coming out. A completion of old cycles and new cycles coming in. About a golden coin right here. This is in the future. So, you know, as we go later into this year. The old golden coin. You know, that's the coin that's in this knight's hand right there. It's the cornerstone of the quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence and the big pink house. For me, it's minor arcana sun. You may just back off from this for a situation. I mean, I would with three of swords right there. Be it a divine or not. Uh, go inside, do the inner work, continue to love on yourself. You know, continue to become this amazing queen right here. This this amazing catch. If if this if this if this person doesn't figure it out, somebody's going to figure it out, Pisces, because that's the amazing catch right there. You know, and work on yourself, love on yourself. Then we got the world card. Old cycles ending and new cycles coming in with the old Ace of Pentacles, which is minor arcana sun to me. The world card has to do with Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. May mean something to you, may not. And then, you know, the lovers. Gemini in the house. You know, This is definitely a soulmate, twin flame, life partner situation that Pisces in the hangman's tree would like this painful cycle to end. And would like a new day to dawn. This is about a new day dawning. You know, this is minor arcana sun to me. This is a cycle change. This is Pisces coming out of the hangman's tree. Getting a new perspective about the situation. Go ahead and let, you know, sacred masculine right here. Their force is burning up. Let it burn. Let it burn. Focus on you, you know. Sacred feminines leaning up against the old apple tree. Being all seductive. Be like, hey, daddy, you know it's over here. Got Raphael up above him. Come on, peeps. Got Eden in the middle. It's that story about the steady closing of the gap between these two divines right here. Don't let them break your heart no more. Yeah, the old princess of pinnacles. Nine of pinnacles. My independent, self-assured, confident business person right here. Focused on herself, very high vibration, uh, minor arcana empress energy right here. And this is really the story that's been going on here for a while. These peeps are major catalysts with each other, propelling each other into a whole new world of spirituality. This is really, I mean, it's definitely been a painful journey for this Pisces I'm talking to right here, but it has propelled you into this right here. Hurrah. Let's blow out the witch's tarot, see what it has to say on the spread for Pisces. Thank you, love team. Couple of cards on here for Pisces, please. What is the lover and the star card about for Pisces? Thank you, love team. Pulled out the high priestess, just like I was saying right there. You know, propelling each other into a whole new world of spirituality. This, these two dreaming about each other. They can't stay away from you, Pisces. They dream about you all day long. Once again, this is Cancer Pisces card right here. You know, intuition, psychic abilities, the dreamer right there. Very spiritual journey. It's all about you. It's not about them. Let's remember that. The king of, king of love right there, the one that hides their feelings, one that loves deeply but hides it, male or female. What are they on the spread for? See, they can't stay away from their Pisces. Nine of Pentacles showed up right there, you know. This is my independent, self-assured, confident business person right here. This is somebody that's single because they choose to be single. 
Normally because they're waiting on some freaking knucklehead rider to figure it out. Of course they're going to come in here for you, you know. She's, <laughs> she's she, you know, these are nine pinnacles right here. She's expecting that one pinnacle to make the tenth pinnacle to absolutely show up. This is solid believing for it, you know. Not getting off the horse to, to, to feel that you need to go in the field and pluck something out to see if it's taken root. This is knowing that that tenth pinnacle is on its way. And it shows that it is right here. It shows that it is right here in the future. The moon card, please. What's the moon card about on this for Pisces? Thank you, love team. What's the moon card about? Uh, the judgment. Karma. Ain't that interesting right there. You know, this is about Phoenix from the Ashes. Second chances, third chances. You know, uh, it's very interesting right there in this position on top of the moon. This may be somebody that wants to come back in here for a second chance with my Pisces. I mean, this is definitely red flags at this time. Uh, let the karma play out. Let's turn it into Dharma. You've definitely been using Law of Attraction, so if this is resonating with you, it's you that's using Law of Attraction that's getting this lover to come back into you right here. But if they're not going to come in right, I set them in the timeout chair right over there. It's really what I see right here. And work on yourself. Love on yourself. Two Nine of Pentacles right here. Minor Arcana Empress. Three of Wands, please. For Pisces. Thank you, love team. Hair pack crowns the spread. The institution of the sacred is all about being streetwise and spiritual at the same time, about being the student and the teacher at the same time. He's definitely about the wisdom that comes into our lives because of these journeys right here. It's definitely about a committed relationship, possibly one you signed up for in the 5D before you come here and play in the 3D. Hierophant, high priestess. This is sacred masculine and sacred feminine energy in the 5D. Sitting on top of the star. Sitting on top of three of wands. I just don't think that they've figured it out yet. I think that this person still has a problem opening up their heart chakra. Don't let them hurt you. Don't let them do it. Huh? They're not going to be able to stay away from their empress. Three of swords, please. What's this about with my Pisces? Yeah, five of wands. The tussle card. Fighting, arguing, competition. Competition. Very clearly, if this is resonating with it's one of these divines, you know, but sacred masculines not open up their heart chakra. Be they male or be they female. Might I add. Mm-hmm. And they can't stay away from you because you'd be using law of attraction and all that. But if they're not showing up in the 3D the way that you're seeing them in the 5D, they're putting them in the timeout chair again. Queen of Pentacles, why is she on the spread right here? Thank you, love team. <clears throat> Nine of Swords, the old sleepless nights. Quit it. If this is you, Pisces, quit it. Get your rest. Get your sleep. Sleep the best that you can, you know. On these old sleepless twin flame journeys. Uh, give that some nice vibrational music in the nighttime. You know what I'm talking about. Put something on. If that's you, you know. And generally, generally these two reflect each other, huh? Get your rest, Pisces. What's the King of Swords about? The wheel. The wheel came out on top of him. Karma right over here. You know. Interesting spread. That old king of swords and the old wheel. This is definitely some kind of karma playing out right here. Let's do what's best for you, you know. Lots of karma. I know, I know. The way to change a lot of that is through forgiveness. 
not only for yourself, but for them, not only for this lifetime, but for past lifetimes. You know, this king right here is beginning to see that there's destiny in this situation. But they ain't figured it out yet. Sacred Masculine is beginning to have their awakening. A lot of majors on this right here. This is Taurus with the uh, Hierophant. There's Pisces, Virgo, Cancer, Aquarius. And this has Leo involved in it right here as well. It's Scorpio. <clears throat> the old Knight of Pentacles, please. I mean, that's what I see right there. That king is beginning to see that there's destiny involved here. They're beginning to understand all of this right here. You know, the karma card, the high priestess on the star, the uh, tussles, the fighting, the competition on their half, the wisdom that could be coming into their lives on this journey, this wheel, karmic wheel. They, you know, really wanted to get it to spin in an upward direction, but they definitely need to open up their heart chakra for, to manifest that, don't they? The old Knight of Pentacles. What's this about for Pisces, please? Thank you, love team. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is that card about doing what's best for you. It's that card of healthy selfishness. Is that card about not be they a soulmate, twin flame, whatever? Don't you know? Not allowing a manipulator, a controller, somebody with possible narcissistic behavior, to even be around you. It's about setting them in the timeout chair. The whole spreads about that right here. So don't come in here and stick knives in my Pisces heart. Mm -hmm. Be this soulmate or whatever. Does that healthy selfishness card. Loving on yourself first. Continuing to work on yourself. Get your rest. Get your sleep. Go get your nails done for you. Go get your hair done for you. Go get a deep tissue massage for you. Yeah, buy yourself a shiny ring, something, make yourself feel special. Yeah, well, this person figures it out right here. Let, the, let, let, let them, you know, deal with their karma. They, they, they can't live this kind of lifestyle and not, you know, have to fix this right here. They're going to have to fix this right here. Just let, let, let Source have this. I know, I know, that's rough. Oh, wounded warrior right here, nine of wands, crowning this spread. Staring right at three of wands. Staring right at the Hierophant. What's the nine of wands about, love team? What's the nine of wands about, love team? <laughs> the Empress. The Empress is on top of this spread, you know. <laughs> wow. Wow. And three of wands. You know, the Empress is all about new beginnings in abundance, new beginnings in love. The, the Empress definitely loves herself. This is a whole story about this Pisces right here. Been on this journey with a knucklehead, huh? Say the least. It's a divine right there, no doubt about it, you know. Waiting on them to open up their heart chakra. We're all waiting across the board for sacred masculine to open their heart chakra. When they do, it's going to change the vibration on Gaia like it's never happened before. It's a very spiritual journey that hundreds of thousands of people are playing out on this planet if this resonates with you. It says that it's going to come. It says continue to do what you do. Love on yourself. Heal your heart. Heal your mind. That's going to fire off a cycle change with the world card because there have been seeds that have been sown here that have taken root. Because you are the empress. The emperor likes to think he runs the empire, huh? But we all know that the empress truly runs the empire. Thank you very much, Pisces. She's going to stand up and do what's best for herself. Hmm? Continue to walk in love and light and all of that. Love cards for Pisces, please. Calling in your soulmate. Yeah, three of wands. It's all over this thing. Three of wands. There it is right there. Let me get it in the right position. 
Michael the Archangel, Three of Wands, knowing that these are your ships coming in. Like I said, he can't. He, he he couldn't chase those ships if he wanted to, huh? We never catch these people by chasing them anyway. We catch these people by using law of attraction and attracting love and abundance to us of the highest degree. Yeah. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help help bring you together. Oh my God. You know, and of course, that goes hand in hand with that card and this whole story that I'm telling you. And let's pour this true love into yourself, Pisces, if this is resonating with you. It does say to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance that you desire. And of course, love yourself first came out with a spread right here. You know, and we did get, you know, let go of control issues. And reconciliation oh and oh Jesus man reconciliation came out right here in the future it's right there do the work it's gonna be a cycle change because you've already sown these golden seeds reconciliation maybe during the holiday seasons that are coming up right here you know enjoy the bliss of holiday time together but right now, eyes wide open. I don't want you getting hurt by this person anymore, Pisces. I don't care if they're a twin flame or whatever they are. No, 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 no. Love yourself first, all of that. It's a beautiful spread. These journeys are all about you. They're not about them. Major Arcana on this for Pisces, please. Yeah. Uh, temperance came out. You know, the old divine patience card. Michael, the archangel flying around with the two cups. Doing his best to put everything as the second time Michael showed up in the spread right here. Michael works with these divines. It is about being patient and all that. And of course, the wheel came out. Second time the wheels come out right here. And the Hierophant. Huh? And Pisces. Getting blasted out of the old hangman street. It's coming. It's absolutely coming. And then there's the world card again. You know, the old cycle change. Definitely tells you, you know... Um, if they're not ready to play with you, set them in the timeout chair one, one more time. Let the wheel continue to do its work. Let karma continue to do its work. You walk in love, you walk in light, you walk in forgiveness. All of that right there. Uh, there's, you know, Pisces getting blasted out of that hangman street about a new perspective. You know, there's the world card. Old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. There's the old Hierophant, the institution of the sacred and the wheel of fortune. It's pretty deep spread. Pretty deep spread. Love yourself first. Don't let them burn you. Hope you got something out of this, Pisces. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Pisces. Bye for now.